Good morning, Devin Burris, Power Shine Pressure Washing, Valdosta, Georgia. Out here, getting ready for the day. Um, I just gassed up my machine. We're pretty much fully loaded with chemicals, about as much as I like to carry anyways. My sister is coming with me today, so just waiting on her to get here, and I'm making sure I got uh, everything ready to roll. All right, guys, so we're out here on first job of the day pretty big house um, not too big um, they just have a little bit of dinge discoloration up in the eaves stuff that you know we can take care of a couple bugs and whatnots so I'm gonna go ahead and crank the machine I got my hose all flayed out and all the way around it is currently 8 12 and uh, Got my sister here. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, so we're gonna get the machine cranked and we're gonna get to cranking. Got some deer out here. We're going that way. All right, guys, so we're going to keep on soaping, and I'll get back to you uh, when we start rinsing. Out here in rinse mode, I had to do a second application on some spots in the back that I don't know if I either missed them or just didn't get them that good. That's all right. It happens. Just as long as you uh, go back, follow up, make sure that you're hitting the spots that you need to, when you need to. Give me a second to talk to the client again, and we upsold roof washing to them. We're gonna come back at a later date and take care of that for them. Gave her a good price. Uh, looks like should be a pretty straightforward job. I would try and squeeze it in today, but I've already got uh, so many on the books, and I don't have the chemicals for it, so just doesn't make sense to try and do it today while we're here. I also noticed they had some lines on their concrete, something that, you know, we offer. Tried to be, you know, conscious and let them know that that's something that we take care of. So, you get the gist. Okay, check back with you in just a little bit. Thought I would show you guys their roof for all you naysayers out there. Who think that I'm just upselling work that don't need to be done. We are soaping the last side of the house. Typically on stucco houses you would I um you know if it was like black mold and stuff I'd be 12 volt in this probably shooting anywhere from three to six percent on it uh, but with with it really just being sort of like dust and dinge house wash will take care of it their main concern was these eaves and rightfully so 
they're pretty gross. So that's really where my focus today is on. Um, I'm not going to bust out the 12 volt and put three to 6% on something that doesn't need it. You know, it just feels unnecessary. Being that there's only just surface stains and a little dinge on here that house wash will absolutely take care of. So we're taking care of it. I typically space my houses out so that I can really focus on each house. But we're going to be doing multiple today. So I don't know how much video I'm going to get on each house, but I did want to just maybe take a little take a little time and let you know that this is uh, probably going to be one of the longer ones. So if you want, you can watch it at 2x speed or something. It don't matter. That was the last side of soaping and since that's the last side we're not just going to turn it on rinse mode we're going to flush out our injector i'm going to hit these gutters again one more time since we have a little bit of chemicals left in the line we're rinsing out the injector a couple spots you know go back and just touch them one more time guys all done all rolled up House came out good. Um, it is 920. Had to go back and hit a couple spots again, but treated all this concrete for them. Uh, house cleaned up well. I did knock this carpenter bee trap down. So I'm going to go talk to the client, see what she wants me to do with that. Maybe they want it. She might want me to hang it back up there for them. But then we're going to roll out and head to the next one. Hi guys, all set up and washing out here on the second job. This is on main road here in town. Um, shouldn't take us too terribly long. It's not really dirty. So it is currently 1026 uh, got the whole house soaked about to rinse oh that's bright rinse out these windows really well uh, we had a really bad hurricane come through here middle of last year sometime and a lot of properties in town got damaged and you know they tried to do clean up and stuff with the city but a lot of things you know got missed a lot of people got missed or you know people like this this is uh something that the property management company is having us clean that the renter doesn't have any control over and you know property owners or trust and management companies but management companies are trusting insurances that the owners might have and trust in the city. So a lot of times, you know, roof damage, damage to the house itself, uh, trees like the one that was over there being downed and not being cleaned up and cut up, just kind of part of the process, you know, it's, it's a ladder. And we're just somewhere on the food chain. We're just here to clean it up and make it look nice. And so trying to do as good of a job as we can, but you're not gonna be perfect with jobs like this uh, just because, you know, they're not, they're not asking you to, to do the works. They're really gonna, I mean, I hate to say it, they're gonna do as little as possible and pay as little as possible just to kind of appease their clients, which works out for me as far as having the volume of work, but you know, 
it's not very great for the uh, the tenant. Sadly, that's the way of the world. Something I don't have to do, but I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this little wall right here. Just make it look nice, you know, for the client. They didn't ask me to do it, and I'm not doing it all the way around the house. I'm not really gonna focus on, uh, you know, going all the way around the foundation, all the way around the house, move these out of the way, and just hit these steps, because that's a trip hazard, a slip hazard, whatever. And this is just unsightly, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out for them, and uh, I'll get back with you. All done, cleaned up, looks good. Went ahead and did that. So little things, just makes the house look a lot, a lot better. So we're all finished here. It is 10:43. We're gonna go ahead and roll up hoses and get out of here, and get on to the next one. Guys, out here on the third property, a tenant has a lot of stuff out here, but there's just uh, typical mold, dinge, algae. Uh, there's a little jut out in the deck in the back. I'm not going to take a whole lot of video here. I'll holler at you when we get done. All done here. It's all cleaned up. Looks good. Especially up there. It was real, uh, it was real dingy. It was covered in just green algae and all that stuff. We got it all washed off. The garage door looks good. Entryway looks good. We sprayed this off for them. Uh, we're about to roll up hoses and get out of here. <laughs> we got all the ranch. All right, we're out here at the next job. It is currently 154, 155. We went to a different property and the address on it was, it, I don't, it's strange. It was in a big subdivision that had multiple properties with the same number. So we, we just decided to come to this. It's basically duplex. We're going to wash both of these buildings. Um, nothing that, we haven't seen before just mold mildew mm, yummy little green um, curious what the back looks like uh, she's got the water hose pulled out we're gonna pull out the pressure line in just a just a minute yeah pretty straightforward uh, just some green down here on the bottom this one's gonna be a little more difficult to get to back there but even then pretty straightforward just bugs and stuff there is some damage to the siding here in a couple spots but just cobwebs and yummy 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 yumminess well come on i can do it with one hand <laughs>
going to let all that dwell and we'll come back and start rinsing in just a minute. Looking like it's cleaning up pretty nice already. All done. All rolled up. Looking good. All this back here is clean. It was green. Now it's clean as bean. Same on this side. We'll clean both buildings all the way around. And we're hot, ladies and gentlemen. It is 246. So we're about to head to the house, cool off, get something cold to drink. Not sure if I'm going to wash tomorrow or take tomorrow off, but either way, it was fun being with you. It was fun washing with you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the content. You guys wash on. Y'all have a good day. Peace.